Hi there guys and welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me today. Uh, I hope you're all doing very well indeed. Uh, before we go any further, if you could just hit that subscription button just there and the notification bell, it'll let you know whenever I upload a new video and smash that thumbs up button. Um, I am trying to grow my channel and I can't do that without you. So you know what to do. <laughs> So as you've gathered from the title, this video is about castor oil uh, um, and the brand that I use is Neosans. I think that's how you say it. Don't quote me on that, <laughs> but that's it there. Um, I bought this on Amazon. I will link it down below in the information box. If you are interested, you can go check it out and see what you think. And just some information on castor oil. Um, this brand has just given some information on basically the main uses and what we can use it for. Um, but just to say, this is a protein treatment. And it just says here, um, nail care helps protect and strengthen your nails, especially beneficial for fragile nails. Um, for hair, eyelashes and eyebrows helps strengthen and thicken your hair um, and many people use it to promote hair growth. I'm hoping I'm going to be one of them because I really want my hair to grow. <laughs> and skincare, which is, I'm quite shocked, I didn't realise you could actually just pop this on your skin. But it says here, it can be applied all over your body to hydrate and nourish your skin commonly used to improve the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles and age spots. I think I need to drown myself in this. Oh my God. Um, has been found to be good for nappy rash. Okay, learn something new every day. Believed to help protect the skin and support its function um, as a protective barrier. A scalp treatment. Uh, nourishes your scalp and helps prevent split ends. That is always good. Who wants split ends? Um, adding a small amount of castor oil to your shampoo and applying to dry hair is believed to help treat dandruff and itchy scalp conditions. Hmm. Apparently you can use this on a all over body massage. Um, and apparently you can add this to creams and lotions and the castor oil adds conditioning properties intended to leave the skin soft and smooth. Wow, okay. And now I'm just going to insert a clip of me popping this lovely stuff in my hair. Um, and yeah, I'll pop that in right now. We'll come back afterwards and you can hear my final thoughts. And here is the castor oil in question. It absolutely stinks really really stinks <laughs> um, I'm just popping it into a little pot there and I've just showed you a little bottle which is peppermint oil I am just about to add it um, to the oil there that I've popped in the pot where is it yeah there you go add a few drops to make it smell a bit better because I'm telling you when I say it stinks I mean it stinks <laughs> um, it's from the brand fresh skin um, and I love peppermint oil so I'm just dipping the tips of my fingers into that little pot, coating the castor oil on my fingertips and basically massaging my fingertips onto my scalp. Um, massaging your scalp is good for blood circulation, which is good for hair growth and so on. So all good. <laughs> um, and yeah, I'm just going in circular motions, as I say, making sure I get every inch of my scalp and just a warning guys castor oil not only does it stink it is thick really really thick and sticky um yeah <laughs> there's nothing much left to say about that i think the next time i do this um i'm gonna do it differently i'm gonna get a, an applicator bottle with a little nozzle on so i can put the oil on my scalp that way i'll still massage it in with my fingertips um but i think it will just be a, a lot easier um but trust me when i say it is thick and sticky and make sure you've got a cloth next to you as well so you can wipe your hands down if you need to touch anything because this will get everywhere, absolutely everywhere. 
Um, I'm just now I've got the whole scalp basically covered. I'm now putting the oil all over my hair, so from root to tip. Um, I'm not oversaturating it because as I say it's thick. I don't want to have a nightmare in the shower trying to wash it out. Um, although I must admit what I did do in the shower, I washed my hair three times just to make sure that I got it all washed out. Um, and it did, it, it was absolutely fine. Um, I'm just wrapping my hair, well my head in cellophane wrap there and popping on my hair wrap from Glove. And that's me in the morning. I've slept like that. I'm taking everything out and the plait and everything. And I'm just going to give myself another quick head massage. Uh, what I did do, I didn't show there. I put a, um, a towel on my pillow as well. Just to, just in case all of that fell off my head. I didn't want to wreck my bed in. <laughs> yep, that's my hair washed. And boom, makeup on. <laughs> um, I'm just putting some heat protectant in my hair. Some Tresemme. I'll leave that link down below. Um, and yeah, I'm just going to dry my hair with my Panasonic hair dryer and then I'm going to straighten my hair, um, as well with my most favorite thing in the world, my Timo ring hair straightener comb thing. It's, it's gorgeous. What I'll do is I'll leave links to the, I've done videos on these. I'll leave the links to the videos on there. You can go and have a look there and see my review on them. Um, and I'll also link the items down below um for amazon if you're interested in them you can go and have a look and check them out um i'm not going to show you straightening all of my hair because i want the reveal to be a surprise <laughs> so i just show you a little bit here but yeah i just love the results right so this is the finished look basically um what do you think you can see a little bit of the shine there again it's really dull outside i've got my lights on there hoping that that would help but you can see a bit of a shine um but my hair feels really soft and silky it feels really conditioned like it's had a good conditioning treatment which is great um yeah i love the way that it looks as well yeah i absolutely adore it it's fantastic um even the the ends look neater i must say with the coconut oil um when i tried the coconut oil the ends looked a little tiny bit better but that still it looks really nice hmm yeah i really really like that um if it brightens up later today i'll try and get some better footage of the shine on my hair and I will insert that here. Right, so it brightened up so I managed to get some footage. Uh, not the best footage unfortunately, it's a bit wobbly um, but there you go, you can see some of that shine and how healthy my hair looks. I absolutely love it. But overall I am very impressed with this. I, I love it, absolutely love it. Um, and I'm thinking about doing, um, maybe using it for a week or two weeks or a month because basically I wash my hair three times a week. So if I put that in my hair and leave it overnight before I wash it, I can use it three times a week. I wonder if I get any growth from that. Um, I mean, just after one wash my hair, one wash, <laughs> one use, um, my hair does feel a little bit thicker, which is great because with all the medications that I'm on at the moment, um, I've, I feel like I've lost a lot of hair. It's went really, really thin and limp, um, but I think it looks in really good condition at the moment. I'm really, really happy. Um, I have heard that black castor oil is supposed to be good, so I'd like to try that down the line just to compare brands. Um, but as I say, I am over the moon with that. Um, have you used castor oil before? And have you used more than one brand? What brand do you prefer? And did you get any hair growth from it? Um, that would be interesting to know most definitely. Comment down below and let me know. I'm really, really interested to find out. I do have some other oils planned that I want to pop in my hair and leave overnight. So yeah, make sure that you do subscribe and press the notification bell so when I bring out future videos, 
you will get notified. Um, but yeah, I'm very, very happy. Um, but yeah, thank you so, so much for joining me. I will see you in the next one. Bye.